guys, you welcome back to This is a veteran of the United States military. A person who has had a very colorful experience in life. Now he's on TikTok and he joins a long list of many whom Allah has shown the way since the issue in Palestine started. This is a story of a 68 year old, a retired veteran based in New Jersey who sees the world quite differently from the average American. He has always been a firm believer in Jesus, as evident in many of his videos, but not the idea of him being God, which he never agreed to. He professes his love for him at every opportunity. And for someone who is retired, it happens more often than not. He was a born Catholic and went to a Catholic elementary school, but was never really religious. Why? Because his parents weren't too. Right from his time in the Catholic school, he has always disagreed with the idea of Jesus being God that is being propagated by the Christian community, including the Trinity doctrine. This line of thought has stayed with him all his life, and it made him an outlier as a Christian. He joined the Jesus movement in the 70s where he met his wife. He was here, he became a lover of Jesus, but not the things ascribed to him. The recent events and the subsequent events opened his eyes to Islam. Here he found a place for a belief he has held firm all his life. He believes he was divinely led to Islam and the level of peace and humility he felt after listening to a recitation of the Holy Quran was one he had never felt before. How I wound up here, I'm not exactly sure. How I wound up at the door of Islam, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe I've been guided to this point. Now, if you follow me, you know that this all began after October 7th and the horrors that followed, and then me discovering that listening to the Quran in Arabic was doing something, filling my soul. I've always believed in God. And I saw Jesus more as my brother. Going through his TikTok page, one thing stands out. He is independent of thought. He appears to be able to independently analyze information and derive his meaning. This has helped him see through the many inadequacies in the Bible and news coming from legacy media. Not only does he possess this strong independence of thought, but he's also not afraid to share them on his page. This has helped him see through the propaganda being spread by the big media houses concerning the conflict in Palestine. For a U.S. Army veteran whose country is officially in support of the opposing side, the patriotic, yet independent, he supports the people of Palestine. A glance at his profile would show tens of videos posted in support of Palestine while also suing for peace. He's also not just an online supporter. He took the support of what he believes a notch higher by joining a demonstration in the U.S. Capitol, Washington, D.C., in support of peace and a stop to the ongoing genocide. Traveling over 300 kilometers from New Jersey is a tough journey. It is even tougher when you are 68. But he went on the journey anyway. He arrived in DC tired, waited, and napped on an open surface while waiting for the demonstration to commence. This selfless gesture was a heartwarming one, and it goes to show the level of empathy he has for the people of Palestine and his new brothers in Islam. In November 2023, he started reading the Quran and it wasn't a surprise that it resonated so well with him. This was after listening to the recitation and developing a deep affection for it. He needed to confirm if it wasn't just the melody that impacted him. To some of the people who had a different opinion of his videos or getting offended by them, he had this to say, if it is in the Quran, I will make adjustments. And if it is not in the Quran, 
it's not something for me at this point in time. Some of my videos may, you know, some of you may be taking offense to things that I'm saying. And um, I just feel the need to take a moment here, even with a cough drop in my mouth, excuse me, take a moment to say, please understand what I'm saying is that the Quran is the word of God and I'm reading it. And if it's in the Quran, I make adjustments. If it's not in the, in the Quran, I, it's not something for me at this point in time. He has continued his quest for a deeper knowledge of Islam. May Allah make it easy for him. Wow. So that means he's still in the journey of becoming a Muslim. He's not totally a Muslim yet, but he's already given the attributes of a Muslim. I just love his post step how it all started. He said of Palestine, the issue since October 7, he has been drawn to Islam, trying to learn a lot about Islam from there. You know, it started seeing a lot of things were unveiling from the Quran. He was learning a lot of things. He was noticing a lot of good things from the Quran, and he has been soliciting for the Palestine. He has been uploading a lot of videos on TikTok, supporting the Palestinians, praying for them, and he is and he's going through the Quran, reading the Quran. He said, if the Quran is for him, if it's the word of God, he, he will know. If it's not. Day, that means he will let go, he will let go. So right now he's one step closer. He's already close to the truth, but he's one step, you know, becoming a devoted Muslim. So the fact that the man is of age, the man is very old, is one of the beautiful things I love about this video. You know, no matter your age, you can still draw closer to God. You can still hold on to God. It's not too late to 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 discover God is never too late. At 68, he started seeking for the truth, researching for the truth, and he's learning a lot. And that was beautiful, guys. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Forget to smash that subscribe for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.